Hello folks, welcome back to our Let's Play for SimCity, where we are going for 10 to 15 minute episodes each and every day of our region Fuzzy Shire. And this is University Central, which is not our casino city. But I came over here because some warning flags uh, came up that we need power quite desperately. And as you can see, there are lots of buildings without power. Uh, I'm going to pause things for the moment while we sort this out. The problem is there's no power station in this uh, city at all. The only power we're getting is power we're buying in from uh, East Fuzz over yonder there. So we do want to stick in a power plant, I think, which means we're going to start by deleting some industrial buildings here in order to make room. That's only sewage treatment. I thought that was water then. I was thinking, what in the world is that doing there? So we're going to delete that and that. And we'll see now if we have enough room to stick a power plant. And I am tempted to stick a nuclear power plant in. We do have a university in the region. So I'm hoping that we do have skilled workers. But that's not going to be an option there because there's not a lot of room. We could stick an oil power plant in. Or go for the traditional coal. In fact, I am going to go for coal because we're hopefully getting a, an advanced coal generator soon. So let's see now, if we unpause this, if that's going to give us enough power. If we go to data maps and go on power, we'll see if some of these buildings uh, start getting power. It sounds like we might be getting somewhere, but so far, uh, nothing to be fair. Oh, it's because the uh, place was closed. Apparently we need water as well, so I'm going to look at that in a moment. But there's still a lot of red around here. So it would be nice if some of this red would start turning to yellow, which means powered. Of course. Ah! We got something. Yes, we are actually starting to generate power now. So we have now got our own power plant in the city, as well as purchasing power in from uh, elsewhere. I'm going to accept global coal deliveries as well, of course, so that will give us a higher supply. Uh, our speciality in this city, we've got a fire there, hopefully we've got enough uh, fire brigades on the loose, let's see, is mining. Mining of raw ore, which is good. Now, why don't we have much water? Uh, there's our water pumping station. Ah, it's because it needs power, of course. Now, power should be okay, to be fair. Let's just open up the data map once more, because this has had a nasty effect on our city running out of power at a critical moment. We are starting to power up, but the water facility still isn't quite there. There we have it. And now we're pumping water to city. So if we close power and go on water. Uh, that's the water table. Which is very nice, but does that mean that everywhere is getting water? I don't think we want to look at that. We'll close that and we'll open up the water menu here. Okay, there's still a few buildings that are flashing red, but I'm pretty sure that everything's okay now, and that things are running back smoothly once again. Uh, we'll stick down another filtration pump, or two. We've actually maxed this thing out now, so we can't put any more in. But yeah, you've got to keep an eye on these cities, or they do start running away from you quite quickly. Now, how's our trade? Because I'm thinking that we're going to start getting close to wanting to build a great work site soon. And possibly we're going to go for either an airport or an arcology. But we need materials to do this. And for some reason our ore mine is still closed. Our trade depot here is uh, certainly open. But we're exporting a load of this anyway, as well as, uh, well, from everywhere really, we're just exporting. What we need to do is make enough profit 
we go back over to City Specialisation, which is there, and go to Trading, uh, nope, Electronics maybe, Processor Factory, uh, I don't know if we need processors, but we need alloy, uh, alloy for that anyway, so we'll go off that, no no no, go back, I'm getting confused here, uh, Trading, Drilling. Nope, we don't want drilling, that's for sure. We don't actually have any oil under the city, so... Ah! That's what we want. We want to be able to smelt into alloy. Which we can use our raw ore for. In order to do that, we're going to need a smelting division at the metals headquarters. And in order to get a smelting division here uh, commerce engineering we're gonna need to basically get a lot more profit which is interesting because we're not making anywhere near what we need so what does the guide me say Cut so do the uh Okay, so we could do coal. So I'm just trying to think the best way to get this done. And I'm kind of thinking we need another or mine perhaps have we got any coal around here we've got a little bit there but not a whole uh, huge amount to be fair so we'll forget that idea or on the other hand is plentiful since this is a specialisation for all this city, I think we are going to stick one down here. There's a community college there, which I don't particularly want to have to destroy. And wow, this is residential. We do not want to stick... I presume we do not want to stick one of these things down in the middle of residential. But we really, really need to get our metals profit up. And I'm just trying to think the best way to do this. Yeah, keep exporting. We need to export at the moment, make some money. That's for sure. Uh, accept local raw or deliveries. Yeah, that's what we want. That will store our ore for us. Um, I'm kind of thinking then still on that, that we do need to stick another one of these ore mines down. But the question is, how do we do so without, wow we've got a lot to destroy, uh, without killing our residential. We've got a lot to destroy here simply because of the, uh, the lack of power that we had. So everyone abandoned the city, which wasn't very nice of them. But all this will be rebuilt fairly quickly, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's just a chore having to go around destroying it all. There was a little house there hiding away. Didn't think I'd be able to catch it, but I could. I don't like a deleting all these massive buildings because there should be a lot of people living there. Delete, 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 delete. Still a few to delete around here. Little crappy thing there, don't mind deleting that. We've still got 11 abandoned buildings. Oh, how did I miss all these? Uh, is all that good?
We're getting there, I think. We're getting there. We've now got three. And still one rubble. Where's the rubble? I don't care about shoppers. Stop showing me all the shoppers. Well, apparently there's still one abandoned building and one piece of rubble, but that's just going to have to wait because I can't see it. So, we've got a fair bit of money. Go on, we'll create an event there. Uh, we've got a fair bit of money, but the question is... What are we going to spend it on? Because... Ah, we are getting this up now. We are getting this up. But are we going to get it up, in, up enough to uh, get a smelting division? And we're 76% research on our clean coal generator, which is pretty awesome. Because that's really going to help out with power in our city. So, I'm going to finish the episode here. I know we haven't done a whole lot today. But I do want to get things moving in the right direction. So we're going to carry on with uh, University Central for a bit. And see if we can get this uh, smelting division up and running. Because the quicker we can start smelting, the quicker we can get a great work site built. At least that's the plan at the moment. So please stick around and join me as we continue on with Fuzzy Shire. I've been your host, Fuzz Finger. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept up to date with future episodes. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.